Hi, this is AJ from WPExplore.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload sample data for the total worker scene. So I've already gone ahead and I've activated the total worker scene. And the first thing you'll see is this notice up here. And that's going to recommend specific plugins that are included and or supported by the theme. And so the first thing I want to do is activate. If you don't have any of these plugins installed, it, instead of saying activate, it'll say install plugins. And that's gonna be the most likely case. Um, it's basically the same process though. You'll wanna click on the ones you wanna activate or install, bulk edit. And then I'm gonna click activate, but like I said, you may click install. Right now, I'm not gonna install a WooCommerce plugin. And that's because the demo I'm gonna use for this video does not have a shop on it. So if you're importing sample data for a demo that doesn't have a shop, I would recommend not activating the plugin because WooCommerce wants you to do some like initial steps and install some sample that, um, pages and whatnot. So I'm just not even going to bother with that. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Once the plugins are active, the next very important step to do before uploading your sample data, and I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what the front end looks like. So when you first install a theme, you should see something more or less like this. We do not auto import sample data. And that is because if you're working on a site that already has content, already has everything set up, we don't want to screw that up. So we want you guys to import sample data only if you want it or need it. So going back, the very first thing you want to do before you even start importing sample data is make sure you're on a fresh, fresh installation. WordPress adds some default posts, such as um, Hello World, so we want to delete that post. And we also want to empty it from the trash. Oh, let's go there. And I'm going to dismiss this notice since I'm not going to be installing WooCommerce. And dismiss this one. All right. Um, go to media. Make sure there's nothing in the media. Pages. Let's delete that. And I know I don't have anything under Portfolio Staff Testimonial since this is a fresh installation I just installed. And the reason you want to delete everything and have a fresh installation is because the way it works is WordPress uses IDs for its images, its posts, and its pages. So when you import your sample data, if you already have posts, pages, or images on your WordPress installation, then when it imports the new ones, what's going to happen is the IDs might get jumbled up because you may already have, let's say, an image with an ID of four, and the sample data has an image with the ID of four. So now the, the new image that's imported is gonna get a brand new ID. And so if that image, for example, is used on the demo homepage, well, now it's pointing to something completely different. So it won't look exactly like the live demo. So that's very important. Next, um, you'll wanna go to Tools Import, and we're gonna import WordPress sample data. So I'm gonna click right here. Now, you should see a screen like this. If you don't see that, that's because you have to uh, install the import WordPress plugin. And th there should be like a little directions how to do that. And of course, there's tons of videos online on how to import that plugin. So I'm not gonna go through that. Also, if you have debug enabled on your server, you might see a few errors. And those are coming directly from the WordPress importer. So there's nothing I can do about that. Now, go ahead to the total WordPress theme documentation site. And on the sidebar, you'll see the sample data tab. And the first thing is importing your sample data. I'd highly recommend reading through this since there's a, some very important stuff. And it basically tells you um, what's on this video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here where it says sample data repository. And that's going to take us to GitHub where you have all the sample data. And we're going to click download zip. So that's going to download the sample data to my computer. Now, the reason we keep it on GitHub is so we can push out updates to the sample data and we can release new demos from time to time. Um, and this way we can release new demos with you, without you having to update your theme. You can always have access to the latest demos. Um, the other reason is because dumping all the demos in your theme is not a very good idea because um, the more demos you start adding, the larger your theme files are going to be. So that means installing and updating your theme is going to take longer. All right, so let's go back up to our dashboard. All right, now that I've downloaded the master sample data file, I'll go over to my downloads. 
So in my downloads, you'll see now I got that sample data master file from GitHub and I have my computer set up to automatically extract it. So I'm going to open the file and here you can see there's a folder for each demo. Of course, you can view all the demos online and figure out which one you want to import. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to import the Nuvo demo. And the reason is because this demo has uh, slider revolutions. It also has specific theme options, so I want to show you how to import those. But what we're going to do is import the sample data.xml file. Because we're using the WordPress importer, this is the file that contains all the pages, posts, images, categories, tags, etc. So that's the file we import here. So we're going to click open, click upload file and import. And then here's where you assign posts to users. So I'm just going to assign them all to myself. And then I'm going to click download and import file attachments. Um, depending on the demo, there may be only a few images or there may be a lot. So that's something that you'll need to decide on your own if you want to import all those images to your server or not. If you don't import the images, the, the sample data will install significantly faster. It just won't have all the images, but you can always go in and just add your own images. So let's go ahead and click submit and that's going to run the import process. Make sure to just leave it open you know, go get some water or something and let it do its thing. It can take 30 seconds or it can take five minutes. It just depends on your server. So let's click submit. All right, now that the import went through, you should see this uh, page that says, all done, have fun, yay. Now, sometimes you might see a few errors and generally those errors happen because, for example, you're importing the base demo and the base demo has BBPress posts on it, like as an example for a forum and you didn't activate the BBPress plugin. So it might show errors that the posts weren't imported and that's because it's not gonna import BBPress posts if you don't have BBPress active. So if you do see some errors, make sure to read them and understand what they are before trying to seek support because they're normally just uh, little warnings. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the site looks like now. Okay, um, it does not look like the live demo, right? but you can see content has been added. And so all we gotta do is let's go to settings reading and first let's set the home page. So set a static page, home, and the block page. Let's save those settings, refresh, and now you should see it starting to look more like the live demo. But we are missing our menu. And that's because WordPress menus are not imported with sample data. Or sorry, the menus are imported, but the locations are not. So we'll go to locations and you see we have two menus. So we'll set the main one and the footer menu. Click save. Now if you re refresh, you should see the menu now. Yay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is you saw this error for the slider revolution. Well, we're going to import the sliders. So let's go to slider, slider revolution. Click import slider, choose the file, and that's going to be in the same location um, that had that sample data XML file. You see a sli revolution sliders folder, and this demo only has the one. So let's import that one. Click import slider. And this should be really quickly. All right, there it is. Um, that's all you got to do. If you refresh, you should now see that slider. And there it is. Okay, now the next step is. Um, we're going to upload the theme options. So we'll go to theme panel, import, export. On specific demos, we like to add um, different options um, for the demo, such as fonts, font sizes, colors, etc. So this is where you import those. So what we want to do is we're going to go back to that uh, folder you downloaded from GitHub. I'm going to go back into Nuvo. And right here, you'll see theme options.txt. So all you gotta do is open that text file, let's move it over, um, copy everything, paste it in here, and click import options. And this should also be very quick. Um, now you have my options. And if you view the front end, you should see like some of the fonts, um, now they're gonna match um, the live demo. Oops, and sorry, we should have imported that first because it's gonna reset the menu locations. Sorry about that. So we'll go to appearance menu, Sorry, we'll, um, we'll go back and add the locations. All right, let me refresh. All right, see, now you can see the fonts 
um, match the demo and the top bar is disabled and um, we got our um, oops sorry this one does not have the frame anymore. my bad we're gonna yeah we got our custom copyright and so forth and then the last thing with the sample data that you'll notice is widgets do not import so like your sidebar may show a bunch of different uh, standard widgets and this is because WordPress um, exporter does not include widget areas so just make sure to go to appearance widgets and add the different widgets you want for your main sidebar your pages search results etc and that's pretty much it if you have any questions uh, please let us know we are working on a demo importer plugin that'll make everything a lot easier since you can just click a button in the dashboard um, that is still under development, but it should be released very soon, so keep an eye out for that. And like I said, if you have any questions, just let us know. We're here to help.